Okay, so the first thing you want to do is install the Ubuntu Software Center. Do this by opening a terminal and typing in sudo apt get install software hyphen center and hitting enter. Any command will be linked in the description below if you'd rather just copy and paste it over. Okay, next up we're going to install the mocker icon theme. So copy this and paste it into your terminal and hit enter. Hit enter once more. Now we shall sudo apt get install mocha hyphen icon theme. Again, every command used will be in the description below. Next we are going to install Docky which will replace your panel on the bottom. So copy this over again. Hit enter and enter again. Now sudo apt get update and sudo apt get install docky. Y and enter. Right, let's exit that for the moment and go into desktop settings head over to icons and let's remove all of these icons on the desktop uh, if you go into settings manager head over to windows manager tweaks go to compositor click enable and then uncheck show shadows under dock windows close that we'll come back to it later right click and go into panel preferences and we're going to remove this second panel as we'll be replacing it with docky go into your axe accessories open docky and there it is at the bottom so if we click on this, this is where we can change the size and look of our dock. I'm going to take it down to 44 and leave it like that. Right, so we've still got our windows minimising at the top. I'm going to disable that so they go straight to the dock here and nowhere else. So I'm going to click minus on here, remove, and then that's gone as well. I'm also going to remove the workspace switcher because I don't tend to use them. It's up to you whether you want to keep that or not. Now we're going to drop the enter and leave opacity to 80 to make it a little transparent. And then I'm going to drop this down to 20, 22.
Okay, we'll close that. Now what we're going to do is install a different menu than the applications menu you've got. We'll be using the whisker menu, so copy and paste these commands over into your terminal. OK, that's done. We'll exit that. So now if we right click, go into Panel Preferences, Items, and then minus the Applications menu to remove it. Then hit the plus, type in Whisker to find your Whisker menu, add that, then select it and press the green button all the way to the top, and hit Close. And as you can see, we've got a nicer menu there to launch our applications. So now if we go back into the settings manager, go on to appearance, I'm going to select the albatross theme, then icons and then mocker that we installed earlier. Hit close. Right, it's going to pin a few programs to the dock. And while we're here, we'll grab a copy of LibreOffice Writer. And let's change the background now as well. So right click on the desktop, settings, change the folder, and then select. I'm also going to get FileZilla. Now if we open LibreOffice we should also pin that to the dock. Now if we head back into the settings manager, go to Windows Manager Tweaks, we can go back to Compositor and now we can mess with the transparency of our windows. So Windows decorations at the top I'm going to drop slightly so that top bar is now transparent. And this is for inactive Windows, the next slider. So when you're not using a window. If I pop open File Manager you'll see what I mean. As you can see the manager tweaks window is having the wallpaper shown through it. And then if I click on there now the file manager is transparent. So this is during move, again it's transparent. I'm gonna drop it a little bit more than that. In fact quite a bit more than that. That's better. I'm going to do the same for windows during resizing. So as you can see, transparent as I resize as well. And this is just for pop-up windows that I'm also going to put as transparent. So now if we close that, Right now I'm just going to pin a few more of my programs to the dock and also install Firefox and GIMP. I'm also going to stop OpenShot while we're at it. Pinning all of my most used programs to the dock.
And there you have it. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe.